Hello, Railbirds. With the NFL Combine now less than a week away and the draft coming after that, I was in the mood today to talk about some prospects, and I wanted to touch on the safety position. Uh, safety is a definite need for the Packers this year. Uh, who knows what's going on with Nick Collins and his contract situation. He could be gone a year from now. Uh, at strong safety with Atari Bigby. Uh, he's the type of guy who's been injured and inconsistent over the course of his career. Uh, Derek Martin, I believe, fills a need for the Packers, especially with his special teams play, but he's no more than a backup on defense. And that leaves room for, if the Packers keep four safeties on their 53-man roster, uh, one more guy, which I think could adequately be filled uh, through the draft. Now, the Packers could add somebody in free agency. Uh, Ryan Clark at Pittsburgh, I know, is a name that's uh, been bounced around, uh, uh, has been discussed as a possible landing spot um, for that unrestricted free agent. I know uh, Tampa Bay has a pair of unrestricted free agent safeties, Jermaine Phillips and Will Allen. It's kind of an unknown right now. Uh, as everybody knows, the Packers are not major players in free agency anyhow. But uh, anyhow, this year's draft class of safeties, there's a bunch of guys I like that can be had outside the first round. And that's good that the Packers could add some depth at the position without having to spend a high draft choice on one. Uh, one guy that uh, fans from Wisconsin should know is uh, Kurt Coleman, uh, safety from Ohio State University. Uh, Badger fans out there might remember him as the guy who just killed Wisconsin during the uh, Ohio State-Wisconsin game this year. Uh, Coleman had an 89-yard interception return for a TD, and I think he had like 14 tackles in the game or something like that and absolutely killed Wisconsin. And uh, had it not been for him, uh, Wisconsin was in that game and, and could have won it. Now, I think the final score was something like 31-13, but it, it was a much closer game than that. And it was thanks to Kirk Coleman that uh, the Buckeyes had won that game and really he carried that team. I know he's a team captain as well and a good guy. And speaking of another good guy, uh, Myron Roll, uh, formerly of Florida State. He's a Rhodes Scholar. I believe he's studying at Oxford University over in England right now. But uh, he's going to be declaring for this 2010 draft. And uh, uh, another, he, both Coleman and him are types of guys that can be had in like the fifth round, if not even later, uh, according to current projections out there. Uh, Myron Roll, very smart, intellectual, instinctive player, and that's, you know, his his major attributes. And um, he's the type of guy people have been talking about as a Packers person and uh, would really fit in well. And I think those are guys that really could add to the Packers in the later rounds. Uh, there's a couple other people. Uh, obviously, a guy like Eric Berry is going to be gone in the first 10 picks of the draft, uh, top five even probably. Uh, there are a couple guys like Nate Allen of South Florida and Larry Asante of Nebraska. Those guys are kind of like second, third round prospects, and uh, I do like both of them. Um, Allen has really been shooting up draft boards lately, I see, uh, possibly being talked about as a early second round pick. Larry Asante, maybe not quite that high, but another guy who is uh, really known for his uh, run support and could offer the Packers, uh, you know, a, the type of player who can come up in the box and tackle really well. And um, I just saw something this afternoon. I'm going to pull up here on my computer real quick, and that's a, a quote from Russ Land of Sporting News Today as he talks about Jeremy Miles, a safety from UMass, and he thinks that um, Miles can be a second-round pick, and I, I, I quote this right here that, that Land says, Miles will start as a rookie. He is a mature player in all phases of the game. He merits strong second-round consideration for a team that needs a starting safety. He would be a steal in the third round. Uh, this is a guy I know very little about. Obviously, he's not even from a, a D1 or 
FBS school, so uh, I assume this is a type of player a lot of people don't know a lot about, and I found that very interesting to read that about him. Uh, so these are some guys that I'm going to be keeping my eye on uh, at the Combine next week during workouts, and um, you should too, I think. So uh, that's all for today. See you later.